in case you want to add more clients you can add more clients as well there is a command with php artisan and then passport client so when you run this command it's going to ask a few questions now here you can see that uh, we have a few clients here so we are going to uh, match the information something like that so it says what is going to be the user id let's say user ID going to be three what is going to be the name so we can provide the name here so find uh, test and then where we want to redirect so we are redirecting http localhost and that's where we want to redirect in this case so i'm just going to copy and paste here just the same and i hit uh, return and you can see that we got the another client client number three and there is a secret for that client as well so if i go refresh here we have the client details showing up here as well routes work for api so if we go to the routes directory we have web.php so generally the routes are uh, me right here so if i comment this line and save this code and go in our Laravel app and refresh you will see it's gone blank and because this route is powering that particular uh, page uh, but this is for the application now if you need to deal with the api there is another file here api.php and here there is a route and you can see that it says middleware on it which is authenticating using sanctum here and then we have the route showing up here you know, slash user so here is the authentication is going on in our case auth going to be api because we are using passport laurel passport in this uh, very series so what i'm going to do i'm going to create uh, another route here because we need to generate the access token and uh, for that we need to use the client details that we generated so if you remember in the database all the clients we have these uh, secrets and ids so we need to create the access token and using that access token we are going to uh, verify and going to get the access like this using middleware so let's see how it works. So first of all, I'm going to uh, create here another route. And this route is going to get something. So well, let's say uh, a get request, and I'm going to pass uh, here callback, let's call it. And then we are going to pass a function here. And in function, we are going to pass uh, request dollar request and here I return uh, authenticated string all right now what we do here let me use the semicolon now what do we need to do we need to open the postman and here I'm going to open a new tab and we're going to check for this URL and let's see what happens with the get request so here I say so we have the app, our app on app.test so we are passing app.test and call back so when I hit this uh, you will notice you're going to get the not found 404 now that is happening because this is an API route so we need to pass API slash and then call back so now if I hit send you can see that we are getting that string so if I go back to the code if I change anything here you will see that change right there and that is because we are now accessing that uh, route as we are accessing this so we can run some functionality here to make our and uh, generate our access tokens so what we do I'm going to write here uh, I'm going to use the guzzle so if we go to composer.json they there is a guzzle http package it is pre-installed in laravel 8 so we're going to use it here so what i'm going to say i'm going to say dollar http is equal to new and it's going to be guzzle backslash client Then dollar response is equal to 
dollar http and then we're going to call post method and in this post method we are going to pass the url for our app which is going to be http colon slash slash it's going to be api dot test slash now we need to generate the access token so we need to go to vote and my spellings are not correct it's going to be out this way and slash token so here we need to pass now we need to pass some data here so i'm going to pass an array and here i'm say form underscore params something like this and it is going to be array value another array we need to pass here we need to say here first of all a uh, few parameters so it's going to be grant we need to pass a string here, grant uh, underscore type. And that's going to be the password because we are going to use password for this. And then we need to pass another detail is the client ID because we generated client ID and client secret. So it's going to be that. So I'm going to pass here. Uh, so if we go to the database here, we have these clients. I'm going to take the second client here and the secret key for that client. So I'm just gonna copy this secret key and the client and the ID is two. So we can pass this in the app. So here I said two. And then another one is going to be client secret. Now here, the, uh, we need to pass the key. So just like this. Now after this, we need to pass the username. So we also create a user, uh, if you remember, and we go to the users. So we have a user generated here. If you remember, I added the user with the password 128. So this user we need to use here. So we need to pass the username. Now username going to be the email address. So here, I'll put that, that I added. And then we need to put the password as we are using for authenticate. So here, the password is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you remember, I added this. We need to pass the scope, and I'm going to leave the scope uh, to empty, empty stream. All right, looks fine now. Now to uh, when we, this route is going to be called, we need to return some value. So here we are going to return the response and it's going to be something like this. We are going to call JSON decode. And in JSON decode, we are going to put uh, the string because we want it in a string uh, format. And here are going to be dollar response and here get body. Okay, and, to, and we also pass true here. So this is going to return us. Now here I made a mistake. This is a JSON decode. So be careful about that. JSON decode. Yeah, it's all good. So now we can call for this route and it should give us uh, the access token. So let's see. Yeah, so we go to the postman. Here we create a new uh, route. We add here and we need to do get request. And here going to be HTTP callback and it's going to be API as well. So API slash callback. Now we need, don't need to pause anything here. I'm just gonna hit send. And we have the detail you can see here. So this is the result that is coming from our code. So for example, if you go back here and before return, you say return one, two, three, and save this and go back and postman hit this you will get one to three so we are successfully generating the access token from this and let me regenerate here so yeah it's it's doing the job if you like the content of this channel and you want me to create more videos like this please support me on patreon you can also subscribe to this channel like this video and share with others thank you for watching